Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to sip and unzip some fires with Java, and it is incredibly easy when you know how to do it, and it's actually part of the standard JDK. So let us just get started with it. It is a lot of fun, and it's also very easy, as I said. Did I say it was very easy? Because it is very, very easy. I've created a zip helper and an unzip helper, and I'll actually show how easy it is. So, uh, first of all, my zip helper, I have one uh, method, and that is uh, the zip method right here, and it takes a path. This is the uh, this is the path that, that I want to zip. I want to zip all the files inside the path that I mentioned right here. That means that I'm listing I'm listing all the files right there. First of all, then I check if uh, files the length is zero. Then I throw in a, an illegal argument exception. It's just to fail fast. Whenever you write a method, try to fail as, far as, as soon as possible in a method. It's it's much easier to debug uh, afterwards. Then I create a file right here. It's hard coded, of course. I could have I could have created a constant. I could also have had my method to take this as an argument. So right now here I have result and then my zip file. So that means that I have a folder right here. I have a directory called result in the lef left side right here. And then in there I would like to a, a file to be created named my zip file that zip. Before we continue, let me just show how I created this project right here. I pressed File, New, Projects, and then I chose Spring Initializer, JDK 15. I'm using the Zulu distribution. I'm using SDK Man to get that distribution. I chose Gradle just before because I prefer uh, Gradle, and I ticked off Lombok and Spring Web. We are not going to use any of those right tonight. It was just so I had them if I suddenly needed them. Then I pressed Next, Next, Finish, and ended up with this project right here. Then I created the zip package right there, and then I created this uh, zip helper and also the unzip helper. And where were we? Zip output stream, yeah. So what, what do we do here now? So we actually, we would like to write to this file right here. That means that we need to create an output stream so we, so we can actually write to this zip file right here. And for each file in, that we found in the path uh, that we actually got in as an input argument right here, I can already say right now that I want to zip the files that I have in my files to zip. That means I have uh, blah1.txt and I have blah2.txt. And it, it, it just contains some gibberish uh, text uh, that I just wrote. So it's not that long. It's two and three li lines long. But I'll, I'll show this in just a minute. So those two f f files right there uh, will then come out as an... Uh, as an array of, um, of, of, of files, of, yeah, of, of files right here, because I use the path.list file here, right here. I could also have checked that this is actually a directory before I start. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. But it's okay for now, because I know it's a directory, so you can always improve the method yourself afterwards. I'm going to push the code as usual to my GitHub account afterwards. So here we have my for loop, file, zip this, and then from the array, files then i create a new input stream because i need to read from the file that we need to read the content from the file first and then i create something called a zip entry and this is the interesting part this is the interesting part right here zip entry look it comes from the java util zip package right there and it's a zip entry and this is what does all the magic so i'm, I'm creating a new zip entry i'm giving which which, which uh, yeah, what should the name be and I actually take the same file name as, um, as yeah, as, as the file is named right here. But I, I could have renamed it if I want to uh, when I put it inside the zip file. The, it's up to me. I can choose whatever uh, name I want right there. Then I say uh, zip out. That was the this was the output stream here. Then I can say put next entry because this is a zip output stream. Then I can just say put next entry. That means that it will actually uh, yeah, create the next file uh, as I have right here. And or the next entry inside the zip file, and then I ha I create a buffer for with the uh, yeah 2048 um, yeah with a size of uh, for 2048. That means that then I just continue writing uh, my file into that entry or into that uh, zip output stream right there. Um, yeah, 2000 bytes at a time. And and then when I'm done, then I close my input stream, and then I go to the next file, and we go up in the loop again, do exactly the same once again for the next entry. And then when I'm done with that, then I close my zip output stream, and I also close my file output stream. So that is the code. Um, it is, as you can see here right now, is zipping a file is very, very easy. Let us see if it actually works, because I, of course, I created a unit test right here. So I will just run the test right here. 
And let's see what happened right now. We ran the test, new zip helper, and we gave it this director right here. Files to zip, that means it will be this director right here. Let us look in the result. Now we have a zip file in the result folder. Very interesting. I could open it just with the yeah, just with the, with the, with the OS and with the whatever the program is used to uh, handle zip file in, in, in the OS. And here I can see I have blah, that's blah one, the text, which is blah, blah, blah. Hello, one, two, three. And then we have blah two, which is right here, blah, 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 four, five, six, more tech stuff. So my I, my zip actually, it works, and I just zip the file. I'm very, very happy. Let me just close all of these right here. And I just closed my IntelliJ, so let me just start it up again. Um, so that's actually it. So it is actually that easy. Let me stop the video right here because I'm creating an unzipped video as long as a zip video. So this was just how to zip the, the file. So now we saw that. Uh, I'll create another video where I will um, where I then will unzip the same file again. And have a great evening and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.